Hey, how are we doing everyone? Welcome back. So today we've got the wifey back out again and she's going to be having a very first go on the Triumph Daytona 955i. Are you looking forward to this one? I am, yeah. Good. All right. She sounds confident. Let's get right to it. Yes. <laughs> right, my love. How are you feeling about this one today? Yeah, okay. I'm excited. I'm always excited to ride these, but... I mean, you've been on the back pillion riding, so you've got a rough idea of what the bike is like, but yeah. it is going to feel quite sporty. You are, it is quite a reach to the handlebars. Yeah, it's here. a lean on, isn't it? Right, yeah, you are going to have to lean forward a little bit. It's probably going to be the most aggressive bike that you've had a go on. Okay. So, I, we'll I am, I'm going to take it slow to begin with. Of course. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, like, I would, would normally, but um, yeah. <laughs> you're starting to sound just a little bit nervous i am a little yeah the thing is i'm i'm terror i had a, a dream that i sneezed while i was riding this bike and then i fell off so, <laughs> so. you'll be fine i've sneezed plenty of times whilst riding don't worry about it it's okay <coughs> right jump on let's uh let's see how you do sorry about all the coughing guys <laughs> she's been a little bit ill recently bless her Give it a rev. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> You're doing all right. <laughs> okay. You get a hang of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's um it's getting used to that kind of I don't know what the word is. Not the bike point, but it is it, it does feel different to the other bike. I think it's partly because the seating position is so far forward. Yep. Wowzers. <laughs> it is aggressive, isn't it? It is a bit, yeah. Yeah, that's a proper super sport for you. But to be fair, so so was ZX9 as well. That was a proper super sport. It didn't feel like this though. No, that that one is more aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, the position. I can actually understand what you mean about this position getting a little bit uncomfortable after a while. Yeah. But yeah, okay. Let's be brave. Put one foot up. Okay. <laughs> it's um, if how heavy is this compared to the other bikes? Just out of interest. Lighter. Well, that one, that one is about two hundred kilograms. Okay, and the others? The others, uh, well, the ZX9 was about two hundred kilograms as well. It just the, the ZZR was two hundred and sixty kilograms. So the weight displacement on this just feels different. But I don't know if it, again it's because I find the seating position so much more aggressive. Yeah, maybe. But I like it. <laughs> I do like it. <laughs> Sorry, that was an accident. It's all right. Go on, try and pick your feet up. Does that count? No, no. Come on, you got to put them on the foot pegs. That's it. Yeah, you're getting the hang of it. Yeah. It's um. It's not so bad once you've gotten used to no. it. No. But... but yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does feel like. You feel like you're Superman when you're riding that thing. You really it, do. It, it does feel like you're leaning oh. forward so far back. Yeah. <laughs> thing is, I'm not used to like, um, because whenever you said, "Oh, my arms hurt" or whatever, I just thought, "Oh, it's because you're having to control the bike and the weight." But no. No, it's it's all the weight on your hands. But that no. never really made much sense to me until this. Yeah. Because <laughs> this. You feel it straight away. Yeah, you do. <sighs> yeah. Interesting though. <laughs> you really feel the warmth of the, the bike as well. Well, yeah, we have been riding it. 
quite a bit today, so. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you'll, you'll get in the hang of it. So, how are you feeling about the throttle response? Um, it's instant, isn't it? I feel. Yeah, it's, it's got a bit of a weird throttle response. It's not the smoothest thing I've ever had a go on. But my bad roundabout skills there. <laughs> But once you get once you get used to the uh, the throttle feel, it's all right. So, yeah. Car. Yeah, it's all right. You're fine. Just keep on going. <laughs> yeah. Um. It does give, but it's it's almost like a chunky give. <laughs> what does that mean? D d d but that might be me. <laughs> you know. I um yeah uh, with with this bike it doesn't have a lot of torque um, below four three four thousand RPM or so so I do feel a little bit like if you were to try and ride the bike on idle it'd be really difficult and it feels like it's going to stall out sometimes. Yeah, that's why I, when well, I went down there I was a bit like oh I'm not I sure. I say I, I say that like that's I, that's the only way how it's, it only felt like that when we've been riding together pillion wise. Um, if I'm just riding it on my own, it, it, it's fine. But once you add a little bit of extra weight to the bike, that's when, um, yeah, it, it doesn't really have a lot of torque at idle. You've got to give it some revs for it to have a bit of power. But <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's why I stopped. That's all right. Yeah. Do you know what? It's, um, it's not as heavy as it looks. In no, a way. It's, it's not a heavy bike. <laughs> For me, it's a heavy bike. My bike weighs around the paper clips, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's okay. Um, it does, it, it is a very different experience, but I do like it. Um, I think the reason I was a bit nervous was it when it started juddering a bit down there. Yeah. And I was like, it's going to stall, but pull the right. clutch in, you're fine. Yeah, that, and that's how all bikes work. Yeah, that's the I thing. Know. Again, it goes back to the same old thing. Once you know how to ride a motorcycle, you can ride any bike. Yeah, it is true. <laughs> That's quite fun. <laughs> it does give a lot, doesn't it, in a way? How do you mean give? Like, it makes the good sound in it. It does respond when you want it to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do, I, do, I keep sliding forward, though. Sliding forward? Yeah. Or what, on the, um... On the seat. On the, well, when you're decelerating, when you're coming off the throttle yeah I don't remember that being something that happened last time I rode but I think it's because of the reach yes could be I mean to reach quite far forward so for the handlebars um, so yeah when when you decelerate it, your body weight is going to shift forward a little bit more I tend to have my uh, my crotch quite close to the tank anyway <laughs> so I mean yeah it look, looks like you're, you're quite close to the tank as well yeah but my knees are hurting a little bit on yeah. the fairing. It keeps knocking this. Interesting. But I think that's because I'm walking it more yes, that, than you that, would be. Yes, that, that'll be it. Yeah. to getting tired. <laughs> yeah. I mean, do you have any other comments about it? Anything else that's interesting or I just told him I need to think. <laughs> There's oh. a lot of concentrating, especially when you haven't ridden a bike for a while. It is, and obviously when it's not your bike you want to be extra careful. <laughs> Ah, you'll be all right. Just, just chuck it around. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Say that too, Kurt. Yeah, be careful when you say that. <laughs> it again. I'm gonna echo a sentiment I had last time. It looks bigger when you're not on it. Mm -hmm. As soon as you're on it, you don't feel that kind of like ah sort of yeah. feeling. That's the same with every bike. They they look yeah. big on the outside, but actually when you sit in it and you start riding it, it's yeah. not big at all. It's the fine. only thing I would say is the biggest difference is this. It's it's a lot. 
It's a big lean. Yeah, yeah. it is a big lean. The, so the, tank, the tank is huge. The fact you rode this for like an hour straight <laughs> is hats off to you because that is yeah. mad. Um, I think it's something I'd have to build up to. Mm -hmm. I don't think I, I couldn't go from a one two five to this. It would absolutely destroy me. Yeah, no. <laughs> Most uh, sensible like people riding wouldn't. positions. I mean. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I like it. I think I think it's a great bike. Sounds great. Feels great. It once is fun. You, it's it's a yeah. fun bike to ride. And once you get in, once you build up that confidence of like it's okay, like you know. Then, once yeah. you got comfortable with the bike, you mean? Yeah, 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 that's it. Not the confidence. Like, yeah, once you're comfortable with it. Yeah. Because, like I said, it's, it, I've not ridden a bike like this before, so it's very. Well, you have ridden bikes like this before, but not a European bike. Yeah. They do feel different. They, yeah, they, they are do. different to the Japanese stuff. Yeah. So it's it's funny, isn't it? How, despite the fact that they might look fairly similar, the experience and the way they ride is totally different. Very different. Yeah. But I think yeah, I like it. Awesome. Not my favourite one I've ridden. No? Uh, no. <laughs> Which one's the favourite one? Because we've got to get you out on the ZH2 as well soon. Oh god, yeah, that one I'm... I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. See, that one I'm nervous for for a different reason. Because right. I can't touch the floor on yeah. that one. That, that, it is taller. It's a taller that bike. That gives me slight nerves there. But I think ZZR is my favourite so far. Good. Um, and then the ZX9 and then this. That's fair enough. If we were to rank it, <laughs> because because again, the re the seat position is so aggressive. Yeah. Sometimes it's like that, that's the same thing that happened with me. The first time I rode it, that all I could think about were the ergonomics and how uncomfortable it was. It took a little bit of time for me to start understanding how the bike can be enjoyed, and then you kind yeah. of forget about the ergonomics after that. Yeah, exactly. But I so think if, if you were riding this bike for a little bit longer than what we had today, yeah. then yeah, I think you'd get far more confident with it and hundred percent. And you would find you wouldn't find it more comfortable, but you'd forget about it a little bit because you'd be enjoying yourself. The more. other elements of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But when I'm going in a straight line, it's very, very enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Good. Um, roundabout we just won't forget we'll just ignore what i did at the roundabout um but i think that's with anything though isn't it going around and having to lean slightly you're going to be slightly more nervous and aware but yeah, yeah up and down this thing is yeah it's very fun Good. i can imagine this thing has some proper power behind it oh yeah um, and you could get into a, a bit of mischief on this it, it looks mean and it is mean but like in like a naughty way yep. not in like a bad way but in like a <laughs> you kind of you want to push it a bit more you want yeah. to see what it can do and it wants you to push it a bit more as yeah. well this bike loves revving but you know this is a triumph you, you think you, i for some reason i think of triumph and i think of like choppers i, I probably that's Cru probably yeah, like cruisers yeah yeah cruisers <laughs> and you don't think of this and you see this you go how is that a triumph yeah. and it, it looks <laughs> it has that like bad boy look to it it does i really like the look of this generation i think the daytona it's, it's, when it's we looked at it i know and i don't i don't know why i said this at the time but i said it, it reminds me of the er6 <laughs> well because it's black <laughs> probably because it's black yeah um but yeah it's 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 a nice bike it is a nice bike i can't <laughs> i can't argue with you there good all right, everyone, well, there you have it. That is my wife's very first go on the Triumph Daytona 955i. I mean, I think you've done all right today, to be fair. I think you've done pretty well. well Thank I you. Mean, have you got any other closing remarks? Get one. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you ever so much for joining us on today's video. Hopefully, it's given you a bit of an insight of what this bike is like to ride if you've... Uh, well, never ridden, ridden a big bike before, but that will do it. But thanks again. Take care. Ride safe. Don't forget to leave that like and hit that subscribe button. And we'll catch you all in the next video. Have a good one.